Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Charles of the Endlines Diaries. Today I'm going to be showing a video. It's actually a step-by-step -step guide, a very simple procedure on how to join a class in Google Classroom. This is a video intended for my students or to the parents of my students on how to join a class in the Google Classroom. So before we proceed, don't forget to hit the like button, share, and subscribe. And also, don't forget to hit the notification bell for more updates and more upcoming videos. So stay tuned and check this out. The very first thing that you have to consider is the gadgets. What available gadgets do you have at home? Do you have cell phone, smartphone? Are you going to use laptop or PC or computer? So you have to decide what type of gadget you're going to use for your Google Classroom or for online learning. So those who are watching this video, I presume and I assume that you chose online learning aside from the other modalities of learning such as radio, TV, or modular, or the combination of face-to-face -face and other modalities of learning. If you have chosen online learning, you really need to be familiar with this application called Google Classroom. So what is a Google Classroom? I know on Google Classroom. Google Classroom is a free web service developed by Google for schools that aims to simplify creating, distributing, and grading assignments. Not only assignments, but other forms of outputs of the children. The primary purpose of Google Classroom is to streamline the process of sharing files between the teachers and students. Sa mga magulang at sa mga bata, ang Google Classroom application ay libre po, walang bayad. Ito po ay magsisilbing classroom or virtual classroom natin kung saan magkikita-kita tayo sa pamamagitan ng isa pang application na tinatawag natin Google Meet. Dito rin sa Google Classroom, ibibigay ng guro ang iba't ibang mga material na maaaring ninyong gamitin para sa inyong pagkatuto tulad ng mga videos at iba pang mga kagamitang instructional para sa inyong pagkatuto. Dito rin magbibigay ang guro ng iba't ibang mga gawain na inyong sasagutan at dito nyo na rin ipapasa o isusumite ang lahat ng mga gawain ipinagawa sa inyo ng inyong guro. Sa ngayon, sundin muna natin ang mga pamamaraan upang makapagsimula tayo kung paano gamitin ang application na ito. Just follow the procedure on how to join the Google Classroom. Step 1. Download Google Classroom application. So if you are using a cell phone, you have to download Google Classroom application. So this is the picture or this is how Google Classroom application looks like on a cell phone. So all you have to do is to tap the Play Store, go to the Play Store, pumunta ka po sa Play Store, at hanapin mo ang Google Classroom application. So nakikita mo ang larawang yan, yan ang itsura ng Google Classroom na makikita nyo kapag iklinik nyo ang Play Store at hinanap nyo ang Google Classroom. So after that, you have to install the Google Classroom application. Just click the word install. Yan po ang gagawin niyo kapag ang gadget ng ginagamit niyo ay isang cell phone or smartphone or Android phone. But if you are using a laptop or a desktop, then hindi niyo kailang i-download ang application nito. There is no need for you to download the application. Step two: Make sure you already have a Gmail account or yung tinatawag nating email. So, para sa mga magulang o mga bata na wala pang email, make sure na gumawa na kayo ng inyong Gmail account. Ang application na ito ay hindi magagamit kung wala kayong email account. So, all you have to do is to make your own Gmail account, your email account, so that you will be able to make use of these application. Paano gumawa ng email account? All you have to do is to go to the web browser and just type down www.gmail.com. Then, follow the procedure in creating an account. You have to make sure to memorize your username or your email and of course your password. These details will be used every time you log in to your email account. 
Once you're done creating your account and you already have your email account, it's time for you to log into your Gmail account. So whether you are using your cell phone or you are using your laptop or your desktop. So step three, if you are using a desktop, log into your Gmail account. Exactly the same thing if you are using a cell phone. To log into your email account, just type your username and then your password and then sign in. Kapag nakapasok ka na sa iyong Gmail account, nakapag sign in ka na sa iyong Gmail account, hanapin mo ang icon na ito. This is what you call Google Apps icon. So when you click this icon, a lot of Google applications will pop out. Where can you find this icon? This icon is located at the top right sa kanang itaas na bahagi ng inyong page. Pindutin lamang ang icon na ito para makapunta sa Google Classroom. Upon clicking the Google App icon, ito ang lalabas. So, iba't ibang mga application ng Google. So, you have Docs, Books, Blogger, Hangouts, at marami pang iba. So, ang piliin mo ay ang Classroom or Google Classroom. So, yan ang itsura ng Google Classroom. So, yan po ang inyong pipindutin upang makapasok ng tuluyan sa Google Classroom. So, finally, we are now on our Google Classroom. Ito na po yung Google Classroom na tinatawag. So, syempre, wala pa tayong mga classrooms na nasasalihan. So, ang gagawin natin is to click the plus sign to join the classroom. So, say for example, meron kang walong subjects. So, walong klase ang inyong sasalihan. Walong klase ang inyong papasukan. So, all you have to do is to click the plus sign in order for you to join each class. The plus sign is located at the top right of your Google Classroom page. It is beside the Google app icon. Once you are done clicking join class, this is what you are going to see. Okay, ito po ang inyong makikita. Join class, then may nakalagay na class code, then blank. Okay, so anong kakailanganin natin dito? Ang kailangan natin dito ay yung tinatawag natin class code para tuluyan ka na makapasok sa, sa bawat classroom. Okay, so all you have to do is to type in the class code given by your teacher. Saan natin makukuha ang class code na ito? Ang class code na ito ay ibibigay sa inyo ng teacher. So, considering you already have your class code. All you have to do is to key in the class code and click join. So, yun. It's very simple. So, this one is an example of a class code. So, it's a scrambled letters and com sometimes a combination of numbers and letters. So, that's the example of a class code. So, again, if you don't have a class code yet, you may contact your teacher and ask for the class code. There are actually two ways in how to join a class. First is that the teacher is the one who is going to invite you through your email. Ang pangalawa, ito pong ginawa natin, na kung saan kakailanganin mo ng code upang makapasok sa klase. Repeat the same process using other class codes for other subjects. So, kung meron kang walong subject na kailangang pasukan, you need to key in eight. One code each class para makapasok sa lahat ng klase. Kung meron namang mga pagkakataon na kung saan hindi lahat ng mga subjects o lahat ng mga signatura ay gagamitin ang online learning, mode plus learning ang inaasahang gagamitin. So finally, we have already joined different classes using the Google Classroom application. So all you have to do is to always check your Google Classroom or your email account for some updates or announcements or any other activities that the teachers can give using the Google Classroom. So there you have it everyone. I hope you have learned something on our video tutorial for today on how to join classes using Google Classroom application. If you have questions, please write down on the comment section. Until next time, this is Charlotte of the Endlines Diaries. Thank you for watching.